What's up, lizard people? Welcome back to another episode of Slightly Entertaining. What's up, everybody? Where we talk all things things. What things you might be asking? Well, we're asking ourselves that same exact yeah, question. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, today we actually do know what we're talking about. We do. Because we're going to be debunking some conspiracy Ooh. theories. That's right. You're wondering why we have caps? Because we're going to tell you whether it's cap or not. I'm actually yeah. going to change it. Like, I'm going to go oh, backwards, cap. She's stuff. gangster. I'm gangster, guys. Literally, you're serving it's gangster. It's also kind of annoying me that it's in With, with the thing. bangles and the gold. Oh, yeah. Gold I'm serving the... gangster. Yeah. Anyways, so um, today we're going to be exploring some conspiracy theories. And this is because of, well, I don't know how far or how prevalent it'll be in the media by the time this comes out. Yeah. But by the time we're recording it recently, we've had this whole, you know, P. Diddy, Beyonce, that whole thing. So that's just like sparked. Do you want to start off by talking about that maybe? Maybe, yeah. It's the mo- oh, wait, no, the National Today. What are oh, we doing, what are we Carmen? doing? How dare we forget that? Sorry. Scratch that. Before that, <laughs> the National Today. Uh, it is um, Botox Day. Oh, so you'll be planning on getting so your some national Botox? your national today. Oh, because sorry, you... this is all natural. <laughs> yeah, you no. planning on getting any Botox, Carmen? No, I think the only Botox I'd ever consider maybe getting is as one that like stops because I've got TMJ, which is like when your jaw, mm. like that's the only thing I would ever. The get. The only one I'd get is wait, I can't remember if it was like Botox or something like that. You like ten mil of lip filler? No, no, no. You get it to like stop sweating in your armpits or something. <laughs> like I swear, there's a thing. Like you can. I don't know. I swear there's something. I've never that, seen yeah, I, don't, that. I don't know. Maybe it's not Botox. I don't know. Um, it is um, name your PC day. Didn't you name your PC? My when you PC. Were, I don't know if this is true, but when you were when we were in like year six, I remember you saying, "Oh yeah, my laptop's called Monkey Doodle." It's not my laptop. That's my account name. But you said it Why to me as my... if you named like you genuinely. Like, oh. Sometimes I call my laptop Monkey oh, Doodle. No. <laughs> I swear you said that to me. I didn't say that because I know I I would tell you if I named him something. I told you I named my scooter something. I did not name my laptop something. Maybe not. I just I just remember that. Maybe that was I'm my account name. Up, but it was quite funny. Oh, well, okay. Anyway. <laughs> uh, following on from that, what I think is quite fitting after just hearing mm-hmm. that is it's National Absurdity Day. Oh, for you. Mm, yeah, I thought absurd. you might say that actually. Uh, it is National Child's Day. Did you ever for like you, as a kid? You're a child. Can you just let me talk? <laughs> did, did you ever like as a child always be like? Oh, we have Mother's Day. We have Father's Day. What about Children's Day? Today is Children's Day. It's the, like, national day. And it's also, like, international something about, like, children. Like, Let's go celebrate those kids you love so much. Oh, okay. (laughs) Weird. Um, It is also, as well as being National Child's Day, National Pay Back Your Parents Day. Uh, How does that work? You just pay back to your parents. No, but, like, if it's on Child's Day, then. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Yeah. We're going into our, finally, our conspiracy theories. I guess we start talking about what's been happening recently. This whole Beyonce and P. Diddy thing. Yeah. It's like, what? Like, it's so crazy. All like the conspiracies, like how Beyonce is like planned to kill everyone and the whole thing with like J. Cole's song and like yeah. how it's all linked and like Michael Jackson's house or like Diddy's house has an underground tunnel to Michael Jackson's. Like, what? It's crazy. I'm I don't sorry, know how like, much of that I believe, but like. Unpopular opinion. I don't agree with it. I think you don't what agree he did with is it? horrible. <laughs> what, it, what? What he did was horrible. Yeah. 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 So, like, preface that, this is, like, I don't agree with it at all. But, like, there's so much, like, I know how, like, crazy the media gets. Mm -hmm. I just want to actually know how much is true. True, yeah. Like, I feel like, um, okay, I I don't think Beyonce's killing everyone, but it's funny to play along with it. Yeah, but it's like, like, is it actually true? Like, because, like, there's a possibility it is. Maybe. I just, like, feel like. Like, how messed up is it actually? Yeah. I feel like his story is right, but I don't know about this whole Beyonce Jay Z thing. Yeah, but it's funny to just play along with you it. You know, Beyonce lost like four million. Uh, I yeah, I saw that. Yeah, oh, well, I heard about that. How she lost like so many followers because of that, which is like kind of crazy. I wonder what she's doing after all, this, like during all this, like seeing everything that's happening. What do you? How, yeah. how do you think she's responding? Like, I don't. Oh, like it depends. Is it true or not? Like, yeah, if it's true, she's like they're finding out my secret. Yeah, but if not, then it's like, hmm. yeah, then I don't know. I don't know. Anyways. But that's just like some shallow stuff. I guess we'll go diving into some deeper conspiracies. Mm. Um, I'm going to start to talk about some popular ones that I'm guessing everyone's probably heard of. But just like, you know, we'll just chat it out, seeing yeah. what you think about it. And then we've each sort of found a couple of other conspiracy theories that we're going to explain mm-hmm. to the other person about, I guess. Hopefully the other person doesn't know much about it. So Anyway, um, I'm going to start off. By, I think the biggest one that's out there, Area 51. Oh, yeah. Which I've said on this podcast 
I would really want to go there. <laughs> like, if I didn't have to die during the process of it, I'd really want to go that there. That would be how you go. Like, when you turn whatever 90 on your deathbed, you're like, you I, know will, what? I will go to I'm about to Area die. 51. Let me just go Area 51. Yeah. Solve it for exactly. one last time. But I don't know. if any for, for those people out there who don't know Area 51, I've got a little bit mm-hmm. of information about it. Just like, what's happening? Well, actually, I asked ChatGPT, explain everything you know, just in case the AI knew something that we don't, yeah. you know? But anyway, this is this is what Chad GPT says. So Area 51 is a highly classified US military base located in the Nevada desert, about 85 miles north of Las Vegas. Um, blah, blah, blah. It's officially part of the test and training range, um, but it's long been the subject of mystery, conspiracy theories, and fascination due to its secretive nature. Um, so this is what the official purpose of Area mm. 51 is as a military testing and development. So the US government says that it's used for testing and developing advanced aircraft and weaponry, which I can get behind. Like I reckon they have like some stuff stored in there yeah. that they probably test out. So it says apparently it's been the site of testing like top secret aircraft, like spy planes and all these stealth fighters and mm. stuff. Um, And it's near like a lake. So that's like, the perfect area that for them to like test it out because it's just like this barren yeah. area um but it's like super classified which i guess is where everyone's like not really in mm-hmm. it like people think that there's like ufos and alien technology in there so that's where they've stored like crashed ufos um where supposedly there was a flying saucer that was recovered in new mexico that they've taken and they've kept there um and some claim that alien bodies were also taken to the base for study do you believe that aliens are real? Well, I don't know, but I kind of like. I, I want to. I'm kind of hoping that it is. Like, I don't know why. I'm like hoping that. Oh my god! Like, is there UFO and alien technology? You like, you know, in all those movies where they're like discovering like a new secret. Well, yeah. I kind of want that to be my reality. <laughs> but like, like, yeah, I don't know if I it think is. I was looking at this, and it's like you know, like the whole time like thing. How like the sun's t- light takes eight minutes to yeah. reach us, and so like. Any life that we see in different planets could be like billions of years in the past. Mm, that's so true. what they're saying with aliens is like they don't like maybe the Earth they're seeing doesn't have people yet, <gasps> so they don't know that we're here. Oh. But then when the light finally reaches them, of ah, course they're going to come, and of course we're going to go to I them see. when we see it. Do you know what I mean? I'm. You know what? I'm one of those people that will probably like believe this random stuff just because I want it to be true. Because <laughs> like, I'm call I'm calling BS on Area 51 with the aliens for now. I want to say it's I real. <laughs> I'm hoping it's real. Hoping it's like, real. Like I think. Why are they may- keeping it so secret? Well, though? maybe there's something else going on there. Like maybe it's just a cover up for all of Diddy's yeah. parties. This does say like you know some people think that it's like secret government program. So other theories propose that the base is used for like shadowy projects like time travel teleportation advanced weaponry do you want to know what i learned about time travel what <laughs> this is gonna get really nerdy what? but so you know how it's te- theoretically it's possible to tra- like travel in the future yeah because like through time dilation yeah, yeah. What, uh, should i explain for the podcast sure basically um in a nutshell if you go super super fast yeah around the earth you can change you time. can go forward in time because like to you it feels like you're just yeah still or there's like time wormholes and stuff i don't know much about that but you know that time dilation like we actually can't do it because of the energy mass equivalence Mm -hmm. and so um like because of mass dilation yeah so the more energy you have the faster you go the more mass you have so so like you can't yeah yeah, we can't actually time travel which is so sad because i I was so excited to i don't know i feel like somehow there'll be a way like someone will be smart enough to find something how though like because like people b- hundreds of years ago wouldn't have think we had this thing called the internet true but here we are but like i'm like trying to th- made this random i'm trying to physically cloud. think like, how you do it It'd have to be to do with like maybe we just space don't know time. The, we, maybe we just don't know the physics behind it yet but it's maybe there. maybe this thing Whoosh. um the second thing is like this whole moon landing thing do you think it's fake or not i don't believe it's fake because just like there's know. evidence i feel for like it. it's real we've been like people are moon. like oh the yeah. flag is moving oh there's no shadow it's not right i'll debunk I, the flag I, for I you i learned this yeah is like so because there's no gravity like there's nothing really to stop yeah. the motion yeah so as you plant the flag into the ground It'll there's going to be motion of the yeah. flag and because there's no atmosphere the it's flag's gonna just going to keep moving. moving debunked anyways debunk yeah. that punk but apparently it's like um people were thinking because it was during like the cold war time that America just wanted to get ahead of it, so like ahead of Russia, and so they. Oh just yeah. Well, even it. if like the actual moon landing was faked, we've been to space. To the moon. Like, like yeah. Genuinely been to space. Like I don't believe that part of it's exactly. false. Like yeah. Yeah, maybe we didn't step foot on the moon, but we still made it. Like. 
Yeah. You know they're going to the moon in like 2020 20 something? Oh, really? Or 20, in a couple of years. Yeah, we're oh, going back Are to we the invited? Moon. I wish, but no. Actually, I don't wish. What if I don't, I don't really want to go to the moon. Me neither. No. Anyway, um, I've lost my next thing. Oh, yeah. Um, and I think like another big conspiracy is like celebrity deaths. Like you've got some famous oh, yeah. celebrities that people believe are still alive. And I just mm. want to, I'm going to give you a couple of names and I'll tell you a quick little spiel about what people yeah. have said. I want you to think whether you think they're still Take alive. Take it away, Steve. It. Okay. <laughs> Basically, uh, Elvis Presley. So apparently he died back in 1977 because of a medication overdose. Mm. But many fans say. believe that he's not really dead. Uh, people have s- think that because the pictures taken of his body in the casket don't look like him at all. Mm. Apparently, the body that's in there. Uh, and so people think that's a wax dummy. And apparently his name is spelled incorrectly on the grave. I don't really think that plays a part in it. But um, people think that he is like faked his own death because of an insurance policy. That's always like a, a reason. Like people want to fake their death because yeah. of some sort of like logistical thing. Um, but yeah, so do you think he's alive or dead? Um, I don't. Alive or dead? To be honest, cap or not cap? I don't really care. <laughs> He's not really changing my life in Just any say, way. Just say alive or not alive. I think he is not alive. Okay, Michael Jackson. Uh, there have been a number of conspiracies with Michael Jackson, yeah. as we know now as well. Uh, one of the theories is that he faked his own death to escape crushing debt and mounting legal problems. Uh, people apparently. Okay, this is a fact. Back in August two thousand nine, TMZ, the like media, whatever mm. thing that is. Posted a video of Jackson exiting a coroner's van with the message, I checked the license plate number and it looks like the King of Pop is jumping out the same van his dead body has been in. Mm. Alive or not alive? Hee hee. Hee hee. Alive or not alive? I, well, I mean, Michael Jackson's coming back with all the um, mm, Diddy stuff Diddy as well. Stuff, yeah. They were saying, I think he's dead. I think he's dead. Okay. I choose to believe that You choose to died. believe he's dead? You want him dead? <laughs> well, I don't want him dead. It'd be great if he came back. That'd be a hell of a I feel like we don't story. have a link because we weren't in the same era as them. Yeah, like it's Like not- if it was someone from our thing, like our generation that died, we'd be like, oh my God. But I feel like we just don't get it because we, yeah. we weren't back then. Yeah. Which I guess is relevant for all these celebrities. Um, Tupac? People, a lot of people think he's oh, still yeah. alive. I could believe um, he's still like. I feel like he'd be the type, type of person, person to still be alive. Yeah. yeah. One of the reasons would be the nature of his murder. The people who shot him have never been found. Mm. We still don't know who killed him. Um, and the guy who was in the car with him that night said that he thinks his friend is probably still alive. So he believes that his friend is still alive. And also, who knows him better? I believe Tupac's friend. alive. There exactly. you go. Hot take for you. Uh, because Tupac not dead. If he was dead, they'd be arresting those dudes for murder. Mm. Um, and I guess like this is I don't know if this is real or not but there was this TV show I watched it's on Disney Plus it's called Fresh Off The Boat it's so yeah. funny though you should watch it Um, and this like the main kid Eddie they're like in the 90s and he's like obsessed with hip hop and stuff and then so the one scene was like he just found out that Tupac died mm. and then oh my god they're trying to like all the kids are trying to figure out oh my god who killed him who killed him and then he watches this music video of Tupac from like before or like something right now like an yeah. or like an MTV video or whatever and he's wearing sneakers that have come out now after oh. he died and he's like oh he's wearing these sneakers that only came out I don't know how real Deep that fake. Is, but like you know he got the creps exactly so Jordans. anyway that's I don't know if that's real or not but like that's I pressure look. might be onto something <laughs> anyway those are my celebrities that's pretty cool well that kind of ties into my first well, yeah. conspiracy theory if you wanted to go into yeah, it go. yeah yeah um, is that Kanye's been replaced? <gasps> Have you heard that one? I miss the old Kanye. Yeah, I miss the, 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 the straight the, the, up the go Kanye. That's one, I don't know his words. <laughs> yeah, his words, his lyrics. Yeah. Um, yeah, that because they're saying like mm. the um old Kanye, like all well, the quote that he said was like, if someone comes back and it's not me, like they've replaced me or something. Like yeah. there's a clip from I don't know if it's real or not, mm. but you know that whole clip. And then Kim saying like, oh, I miss the old Kanye. Yeah. Like once he started going off the rails, do you yeah. think he's Mm. <laughs> you know, I could get by fake Kanye because he's like drastically different, you know? Well, yeah, because like it, the, you look at mm. it, it genuinely is very mm. different from the start. And exactly. then there's the whole like conspiracy that, you know, the whole Taylor Swift Kanye drama. Yeah. I With the whole Beyonce thing, how yeah. he like protected, protected her. her from Beyonce. All those Swifties are hated on him. Look at them <laughs> turning now. That's the funniest bit though. It's reading the comments and, the, and all these people that are like, you Swifties that were hating on him and now you're trying to switch around saying yeah. that. But it's like, it's so, so dumb. No, but like I, can't, I would totally want to believe all this. Like, 
I will get by and like just just for the lulls, just for the content. I like, hope it. Okay. I hope it's true. Just for because the, it's so interesting. It's just so funny. Like not for the people dying. That's a little bit no. Sad. But like but imagine like, like the massivest plot twist. Like Kanye exactly. was the good guy all along. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's so funny, but it's so good. Um. Anyways, is that is that your that's pretty much it. it was oh, okay. just more speculation. But I also had another like speculation: yeah. is what a flat Earth is actually doing. Like <laughs> speaking of Kanye, <laughs> it's got to a point. Where it's like, come on, you got to admit, like, like your yeah. own experiments are proving your theories false. Like, I just give yeah, in. I don't know. I just think it's like people who don't sway away from their opinions. Like, I don't know. Yeah, but like, it's just, I don't it's know. Like, you know, Kyrie Irving, the basketball player, mm-hmm. he's like, he's an anti vaxxer and he's a flat earther. Yeah. But um, anyway, and then I remember like my. My dad was saying because he's he technically has like an Australian citizenship, like he's part Australian, something like that. Mm. So he can play for the Australian national team. And the Olympics came up, right? And people are like, oh, is he going to play? Mm. And my dad's like, how's he going to manage to fly all the way from America <laughs> to Australia if he has to go <laughs> all the way across the world? That's crazy. Yeah. No, um, yeah, it's just like like it's, I honestly I don't even bother talking about flat <laughs> Earth because it's like like their own experiments are proving oh. themselves wrong. Why would you? I don't know. Why like, would, for example, yeah. maybe give some context to it is like when they're saying, oh, if the earth is flat, like we'd be able to see the ships coming yeah. from ages away, but then they don't see the ships and they're like, oh, well, it's still flat. Yeah. Anyway, it's so weird. It's so silly. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Do you want me to talk about my first conspiracy? Yeah, okay. This one is actually one that I'm, I'm very passionate about. It oh, is. you've actually written. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got like a... Wait, sh- let me compare my notes. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no. No, it's not from me though. It's ChatGPT. My notes. I haven't written anything. It's from, from ChatGPT. My notes but... are a couple of thoughts on, this on my phone. No, but like genuinely, like I, whenever something like this happens, I want to believe it's so real that I look into <laughs> it as much as I can to try and... Anyway, this first one is about Denver International Airport, which mm. personally, I did not know a single thing that it was a problem until in year 10, during science... There was one unit where we would talk, we just like for a task, we decided to do some, did you, do you remember that? I don't know if no. you're, any other class I just remember it? you've told me about Denver International Airport so, about 50 times. Yeah, no, my, my friend and I, we, we were like, you're supposed to find a conspiracy theory. So we found this one because it's like, oh yeah, Denver International Airport. We've never oh, heard Oh, I of do that. remember doing that actually. I, we did do it that. It was the most mind blowing thing I've ever, like, everything was like, oh my God, every time they said something. We had to make a video about it as well. It's a funny video. I'll show you the video after if I still have it. It's quite okay. funny. But basically. The whole conspiracy around, well, actually, there's multiple conspiracies. Um, mm. Since it's opening in 1995, let me, like, read what I have for you. So, just in a nutshell, pretty mm. much, theories include that it claims it's the headquarter of a secret elite group, possibly the Illuminati or the New World Order. Uh, the airport has, like, these strange murals, underground tunnels, a creepy-looking statue, um, and, like, all the points of the design, it's just, like, wrapped in conspiracies. Mm. It's one of the biggest airports in America, I think. Or maybe it is the biggest. I don't know. Something like that. It's, like, one of the biggest airports. Where is it in America? Denver. Where's Denver? Oh, Colorado. Oh, okay. I don't know that. <laughs> Denver. Um, no. Okay. So, let me, let me go through them. So, firstly, these, like, underground tunnels, they're, like, underneath the airport. There's, like, all these bunkers and tunnels mm-hmm. and stuff. So, people suggest that they're designed as a shelter for the global elites in the event of an apocalypse. Oh. So, like, you know, if there's an apocalypse, like, you know how you, like, go underground yeah, yeah, yeah. bunkers? Yeah. So, while other people claim that it's a base for the Illuminati or other organizations. <laughs> Do you believe in the Illuminati? I'd like to. Yeah, me too. Again, I want them to be real. Like, <laughs> anyway, um, and then, okay, so that's like, okay, I could talk about like so much more of this, but I'm giving you like yeah, a brief, brief version. Thing, right? And then another thing of Denver are like these murals that this artist has painted like all throughout the thing. It has the most like gruesome depictions of war and violence and peace and environ, oh, not peace, war and war. Oh my God. War, violence and environmental destruction. Mm. Like I think there was one, there's like, oh, I read something, there was like a picture of like like Hitler and his whole like Nazi regime on oh, wow. there. It's it's like intense. Anyway, so like some real um, not so pleasant things to have in an airport. Mm. Um, near the main terminal, there's apparently like this little capstone, which is supposed to be like, you know when you like make a new building, how you put like a little plaque there, yeah. it says something. So it has an ins- inscription that says the New World Airport Commission. And people immediately jumped on the fact that, it could be a tie to the new world order. So that's a whole other conspiracy theory Mm -hmm. that there's like this whole like totalitarian government that's ruling everyone. And so like they think that's like the base for it because it says new world. 
Mm. I don't know. Um, and that same capstone also includes a symbol of the Freemasons, which is another like secret yeah. like organization, whatever, like a secret society. So I don't know. Like if it's got the symbol there, like Do you surely. think it's linked to Area Fifty One? No, I think it's separate. Separate? This surely has everything, but I think it's separate. I think Area Fifty One's like more like US, whereas this is like not even like US. This is like a secret organization. Mm. Like the lizard people live there. Lizard people. Like honestly, I think so the lizard what, people live followers. there. Yeah. <laughs> right? So and there's another thing. I will show you a picture of this because this is generally the creepiest thing I've ever seen. There is a 32-foot tall blue horse statue that has glowing red eyes and its name is Blucifer. Like Lucifer <laughs> the devil, but Blucifer. Lucifer. It's Who a, named it? It's, uh, the creator whose name was, I forgot, but, oh yeah, Louis Jimenez. It's, it's literally right at the entrance of the airport. Let me show you a picture of it. It is, like, I would not want to see this while flying into a city. Like, what? How creepy is Have that? Have people actually been to like Denver International Airport? My dad has. Oh, When whoa. he went to Denver for a conference. That's terrifying. I know, I Did asked Did you get him to give like a no, live? No, but like when, when we were doing that thing in science, I asked him like, oh my God, do you remember this? He's like, mm, I don't really remember it. Like, I don't, he didn't remember the horse. I don't know how you can forget that. Anyway. It's like a Trojan oh, horse also, of sorts. Also, the statue's creator, that Louis guy, was tragically killed in an accident when constructing the horse. Like a piece of it fell on him and he died. Oh, that's sus. So it, like, that's, that's sus. what I'm saying. Lucifer's coming for us. I've, that's what I'm saying. He's I'm a ne- Trojan horse. I'm never going to Denver, by the way. Like, never. Or at least I'm not flying. I'll drive. <laughs> anyway, but that's what I have on that's Denver cool. International Airport. So basically, like, every single conspiracy you can think of, you place it there in that airport. Denver. It's there. Wow. Anyway. Maybe we should go as a pod trip. Oh, my God. Myth busting. Please no. Ghost. Ghost. ghost we'll do hunting. it for you guys. Yeah. We'll, for the you... content. We'll sacrifice ourselves. We'll go to Area 51. Yep. We'll go to Denver International Airport. We'll live stream the whole thing. Oh, my God. Yeah. Anyway. That's pretty cool. That's my story. Do you want to hear my yeah, you go next now. one? Okay. Whoosh. Mine is like, it's not as long as that, but it's about the Tasmanian tiger. Oh. I was thinking about this. Okay. The thylacine. Basically, I'm not sure on like the full full details as um i didn't really go to as much depth as you on this one but um basically what they're saying is i don't know if it's like they're still alive now or they were like they survived a lot further than we thought they were when they went extinct so because the first one went extinct or last one went extinct like it died it was in captivity and it died in like 1938 i'm pretty sure Mm. and then i'm not sure if it was in 1980 or something but uh hang on let me read it off um there were some sightings that, like, um, an indigenous tribe, they had a dog very similar to the Tasmanian oh. tiger. Like, it looked exactly like it. Mm. Um, but when people went to investigate that, they were like, oh, no, the dog was sick and it died, right? <gasps> and, Sus. Well, and then, so, obviously, as they did, they ate the dog that died because ah. they needed food. I don't know. <laughs> um, the plot twist. <laughs> and then the people, like, who were investigating, they found the bones of this dog. And it's like jawbone, it matched exactly, exactly the Tasmanian, the Tasmanian tiger. tiger. Um, but yeah, and then the other thing was they like people went into this tribe and asked them, like they showed them pictures of the Tasmanian tiger, like, have you seen this? And they were like, yeah, we have. So they're like, maybe, because this is in an era, because dingoes are what like killed the Tasmanian tiger pretty much. They like mm. outpopulated them, killed them, whatever, yeah. took all their prey. You know how the ecosystem works. Yeah. Um, my and least favorite subject: <laughs> biology, ecology. Anyway, it's sort of it's, it's useful. Anyways, um, so they're saying because this is like less populated by dingoes, maybe they still survived in this small mm. pocket. But yeah, so that's extinct or not? That's like a cute, wholesome one. Yeah, but also, are they like super vicious? Like, wait, are they like? Are they? I huge? think they are sort of vicious, but not like as bad as dingoes. This is not a conspiracy. This is a question: Would you want dinosaurs to still be living on this planet? One hundred percent. I'm saying no. Well, like no, but. I'm, I'd be okay, maybe not. Jurassic Park, when you think about Jurassic Park. But, like, the cute ones, like, the nice ones. I still think they'd, like... Okay, I don't. I genuinely don't think we'd be able to build civilization with dinosaurs there. Like, unless they're, like, oh, no. secluded to, like... Actually, yeah, I think forest. dinosaurs would be, like, an animal we can't really control. Yeah, like, that. Like we, I don't think yeah. we'd be in the top of the food chain. Oh, no, they there. would definitely be above us. That's like scary. Yeah, our brains would be no match for just their power. Yeah. But, yeah, it's interesting. That's scary but okay wait this kind of does have to do with conspiracy theories but like have you heard like the government or like just random organizations are trying to like like regrow like things like dinosaurs and stuff like like in a lab like 
like in no. Jurassic Park. How, how do you regrow like, a oh, from like, fossils? From yeah, from fossils or like creating DNA. Like I don't know, just it's like something they're like getting the DNA from like fossils. I don't know how it yeah. works, but like there was something saying like not even dinosaurs, just anything else. But like, why do they pick the scariest animals? Why not? A rat. Like, why do you have to, like, <laughs> make it... Th- like, yeah. But, like, the government are, like, making these, like, super-controlled monster things. Why? Haven't they seen Jurassic Park? Do they I not know? I don't know, but it's scary. Like, why are you doing that? I wish I could just go and say, like, stop. Well, that's, like, my <laughs> thing with AI is, like, the theory is, like, the we're either going to be slaves to AI yeah. or AI will be slaves to us in twenty by 2050. Mm. So, like, why are we creating something that'll be our downfall? I don't know. It's a bit scary. And I feel yeah. like people are doing it without my permission. <laughs> yeah. I don't give I permission to have my to say this. in this. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, that's just like a little yeah. sidetrack. I have another conspiracy for you. This one's a bit of a shorter one. That was like mm. my main long yeah. one. But this one's a bit shorter. I just This one just interested me. But these things called chemtrails. Yeah. So it's a whole, do you see that? I know I know the Lana Del Rey song. No, I'm not. No, no, <laughs> I'm not that chemtrails. I'm joking. Uh, but no, it's a conspiracy theory that gained traction in the 90s when people started noticing persistent white trails in the sky left by airplanes, like normal mm. like passenger airplanes. So you normally have these things called contrails, which is like, after a plane flies, you have, like, yeah. little haze, right? And normally, they just, like, dissipate quickly. Mm. But people start to see that they seem to linger longer and, like, spread you out. I knew you were going to Just when I said that, I was like, when you're in anything. so deep. Um, no, but apparently, and they started, like, spreading out, forming, like, a cloud, like, haze. Like, yeah. Like, a fog over things. And so, people are like, oh, like, what is this? This isn't normal water vapor and engine exhaust that goes out into the sky. So... These are a couple of explanations that mm. people have said, right? So some people think that it's part of a secret geoengineering project designed to control the weather. I think that's the most lame explanation, by the way. And that's like, honestly, sad. if it is, okay. Okay, control the weather. Yeah. Like, okay. Anyway, that's not interesting. But the interesting ones mm. is that another claim is that the chemtrails contain chemicals that are like spread over cities that control human health or behavior. Mm. right so some people believe that like governments or the shadowy elites that we were talking oh, yeah, about yeah. are using these chemtrails to control populations through mind-altering substances or like reduce global population by spreading harmful toxins have so you seen divergent no i haven't seen it but i actually do, do want to watch it do you I know the when you're ready to watch divergent you just give me the call i'll let you know i'll be there yeah <laughs> for no reason yeah, apart yeah, from yeah. the plot yeah. um no the, i think it was in divergent th- i think no, maybe it wasn't Divergent. Maybe it was a different movie. About population control? No, it oh. was like they had this like orange gas and they released. Yeah, no. And orange they were agent? like. Hmm? In the war? Orange agent? Maybe agent it was in spite no, of agent that. Orange? I don't know. <laughs> but like it was just in the movie and they're like putting in the gas and like everyone was like controlling. I think it was oh. Divergent, they're controlling the brains. And only the Divergent people could resist it. And so they went in and like stopped them all. It's pretty cool. So that's maybe that's what oh. they're doing. Anyway, yeah. Maybe that. All these, like, dystopian movies, they've got some truth in them, you know. Probably. Like, that's what, so, like, you know. Anyway, but, um, so, or, or some people also believe that the chemtrails are part of a covert operation to test biological and chemical agents on the population. Um, and people have said that the areas that they've seen it in, people have had severe or, like, various health problems, like respiratory illnesses, headaches, and neurological issues. The areas that, like, yeah. they found that a lot of people near those areas experience those unexplained symptoms that's interesting so, yeah i mean there's chemtrails. it's definitely possible like there's science behind it like mm. you know when people are like near certain like metals and yeah. then they or like mercury or something yeah. and then they and it's so things. scary because we have no idea what the government's really doing like yeah my mind opened up when i watched what movie was it my dad maybe watched the movie it was something with will smith i can't remember what it was but it was about oh was it will smith i don't know but it was about how like there was just one part of it where the government had access to, or not the government, but like CIA, yeah. I don't know, whatever they are, had access to everything, every single camera in the area. They had satellite images watching you as you move. Like, they could be watching me right now. They're probably watching our podcast, listening to Hi, us Hi, wherever you are, people come in listening peace. to me. Like, how scary is that? Yeah. Like, they could be watching us right now. And then I was like to my dad, oh my God, like, is this really? He's like, yeah, they have access to everything. I'm like, like, we could be test subjects of something and we don't even know it. Like, honestly, living in I've, Sydney. I've, like, spent a lot of time, like, st- thinking about this and I've come to the conclusion, like, 
fair play. <laughs> if you want to use me as a test subject, mm. that's fine. Just let me live my life. But I I'm like quite happy. I want to be let one of those people that like find out and discover <laughs> and save the human population. But I want to be a main character in a dystopian film right now. <laughs> but like, are you really saving the like? If we're yes. fine now, like, yeah, most people are fine. I just want to like know. You know what it's I mean? It's true. Like, the, yeah. I'll keep it to myself. I promise I won't tell anyone. Maybe, but like, I just want to. No, know. but if you knew, then you'd be like a liability. They'd have I to. I know kill they'll you. probably shoot me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know anything. Okay, just making that clear to the people <laughs> listening. Anyways, do you have anything else? I have a couple. Yeah. This isn't really as a... Uh, okay, I've got two more things. Mm. One is very scientific. I'll say that one for the mm. end. This one's a bit more just funny. Um, I went... When I was looking up at like all the um conspiracy theories and stuff, I went to the number one source of factual information. Wikipedia? TikTok. TikTok. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Um, And so I found some for you. Mm-hmm. I just want to play them because there's like these pages on TikTok that make AI conspiracy theories. Oh, I've seen, Have you yeah, seen yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, just, I always watch those. <laughs> yeah, I just thought um, I played some for you and, and you know, listen. yeah, pop it in the microphone. We'll let everyone I will. Else I just got to open it up for you. And for those who had a childhood, it's about to be ruined. So I just wanted to warn you. Oh no, I've got yeah, I've got three. Ready? Okay, yeah, go. Is Barney is actually a sinister cult leader and serial killer, and his friendly personality is just a trick to lure children into his cult. His constant singing of I love you, you love me, we is a way to brainwash the kids into being loyal to him. And when characters disappear from the show or get sent away, it's believed they were given a choice behind the scenes. Join Barney's gruesome cult or become his next victim, which explains why each child actor is different in every episode and they are never seen again throughout the show. Now, here's where it gets really dark. Baby Bop, Riff, and BJ are actually children who joined Barney's cult to escape the fate of the others who were sacrificed for refusing. Barney used his dark magic to transform the children into dinosaurs, hiding their true identities to deceive future child victims. It's quite gruesome. And, like, it's I'm actually all, not that connected. I don't remember watching Barney. It's all the AI pictures as well. They're terrifying. I like, know, yeah. Whenever they put them? the... Yeah, yeah, I've seen. It's like So terrifying. thoughts on Barney? <laughs> what are I you? don't know. But you know, like, Selena Gomez and Demi Lovato? Like, they were all on Barney? Yeah. Like, they're fine. Right? They're fine. Actually, this is wait. just a bunch of TikTok misinformation. Which be careful. <laughs> that one's scary. <laughs> I've got some more. Okay, yeah. Two more. Go. On the TikTok. I actually love listening to this. They're like, so it's so... Whenever I get scared, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> okay. Scooby-Doo and the crew are actually dead and Shaggy is hallucinating them on drugs. The theory is Velma, Freddy, Daphne, and Scooby-Doo all died tragically in a house fire in the 1960s, which was actually caused by Shaggy due to his forgetful and irresponsible behavior. One evening, the crew was hanging out at Fred's house and Shaggy, due to a long session of smoking the za, got hungry and decided to make his own Scooby snacks in the kitchen from scratch. But after already turning on the gas, Shaggy realizes Fred hasn't got enough ingredients and decides to take a drive to the local convenience store. On his way back, Shaggy sees a trail of smoke coming off one of the houses in the distance but couldn't make out which one. Shaggy panics as the realization kicks in that he left the gas on before leaving while Scooby-Doo and the crew were still lighting up the czar. But what happened next will Sorry. be Sorry. <laughs> lighting up the czar as the Scooby-Doo and the crew casually do. <laughs> this guy is single-handedly ruining my childhood. I did warn you. Do you want me to continue? Shaggy arrives back and watched his dog and friends get burned alive. Shaggy <laughs> blames himself for the tragedy, and his drug addiction darkens as he started taking stronger substances in order to try escape the memory of the death of his dog and friends. Aww. Due to these drug-induced states, Shaggy imagines his recently deceased dog and friends still alive, and the unmasking of monsters throughout the show corresponds to Shaggy's inner demons and not being able to unmask and move on from the trauma and guilt over the accident. <laughs> So basically, he killed his friends and became a crackhead. Oh no! <laughs> I just think the what whole... is that's actually that's funny, but like I'm crying. That's so sad. The whole he turned to drugs kind of thing. No. Oh, and then just in case. Do of... I want to listen to the last one? Maybe not. Actually, I don't know if it's as dark, but it definitely okay. will touch on an even closer part of your childhood. Oh no! Don't Dora tell the me. Explorer is actually blind, and Boots is her guide animal. Throughout the show, Dora never seems to look at what she's talking about and also doesn't blink. Dora often speaks directly to the audience, asking for their help to spot objects in her surroundings or to choose the correct path. This theory suggests that these interactions are Dora's way of asking for guidance as she can't see her environment herself. Her constant inquiries like, can you tell me where the mountain is? Or, do you see Swiper? Are her methods of making sense of the world around her? 
<laughs> Dora's loyal monkey companion is more than just a friend. He's actually her guide animal. He is always by her side, helping her navigate the world, warning her of obstacles, and assisting in finding the objects she talks about. Boots's presence and his proactive engagement with the environment serve as crucial aids, making him an essential part of Dora's ability to explore. <laughs> that man single-handedly ruined my entire childhood. I just find them so funny because they're so I don't, stupid. I don't want to like they're so ridiculous. This episode. <laughs> I like I know it's all false, but it's just like I think just the, the like for me that one was the funniest because like the isn't evidence- it National Absurdity Day today? Oh yeah, it's quite fitting. <clears throat> um, no, because his like sound evidence was Dora doesn't blink. <laughs> she never blinks, and so therefore she is blind. She is blind. <laughs> like it's just oh my god. Oh, it's, it's so funny, funny, but that was that was really anyway, emotional for me. We could do a whole episode on TikTok <laughs> conspiracy. It's quite it's quite good. Okay. Anyways, well, what's I your next one? I have my last one. Yeah. Um, which is actually this one kind of scared me, you know, because I've I've seen this one before. I and I feel like you might have heard of this. So it's called the Bohemian Grove. I'll show mm-hmm. you a picture of it because you might recognize a picture. It's basically in the redwood forest in California. There's like a. You, you've probably seen a picture of it. There's like this meeting place with a little silhouette of a man. No. Scatterbush, scatterbush, like and this. they do the fandango. No. I've never seen that. <gasps> what? Maybe I've watched too many like weird things on the internet. You like, know what she said to me? She because you do watch too many weird things. We're like booked flights to go somewhere, and Keisha goes, "Oh, before we go on the plane, I gotta watch some plane crash documentaries." <laughs> wait, wait. Sorry, why? Like, no. if anything, that's no. a bad omen. No, but like, it's like because. You're going on a plane, so... So I want to know how many times I can die. How many ways I might perish on this flight. Yeah, you want to be prepared. Or maybe you just don't think about it and then it won't happen. Blissful ignorance. Uh, You should try it sometime. uh, Well, it's just good to know in case of an emergency, okay? Yeah. Anyway, moving on to this, Mm -hmm. okay? Um, Also, there have been many conspiracies with plane crashes. But that's a whole other episode. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. So this, I can't believe you've never seen a picture of this on the internet. Like, I might have, but I don't think it's What's really wrong with my feed? Where, stuck out to me it? enough to oh, really okay. worry about it. I'll watch the whole video. whenever. Okay. So it's called the Bohemian Grove. Basically, it's an actual thing. So it's, it's a little retreat in the woods. It's a two-week event held in July, attended by elite individuals from various fields, including politics, business, entertainment, and media. So participants include U.S. presidents, military mm-hmm. leaders, corporate executives, over the years, notable attendees have included Richard Nixon, Ronald Reagan, George. Okay, basically all the presidents. Anyway, um, the attendees are all male, and also oh, sexist yes, too, literally. That's so and sad. the proceedings are shrouded in secrecy, so no one like else is allowed to go in there and record. Right? Mm. That I think. Oh, that's where I saw it in the video. This, like, some there was some picture where someone like had snuck in and taken from the side. I don't think it's that one because that one looks like plainly obvious. But there's yeah. like a really creepy one where where I'll get to that. But basically. So these gatherings, it's normally like, it includes like speeches, performances, like networking, like Mm. pretty normal. Firstly, why are they doing in the Redwood Forest? That's creepy. Mm. Like imagine being surrounded by these giant tall trees and you're just like with these scary people. Like, you know, firstly, that's a bit weird, right? Already sus. Secondly, people also think that it's not just like discussions that go on in there. So these are the allegations on what else goes on in that Mm. forest, right? So people believe that it's not merely a retreat for relaxation, but it's a place where these powerful individuals can plan global strategies and make backroom deals that shape world events. Because you think you've got the most powerful people in the world all yeah. in one place. Like, you know what I mean? I'm sensing a theme with your theories that all like... <laughs> no, but like... like <laughs> that's the, uh, the government. That's literally, like, you know, that's the scariest part. Like, normal people are normal. Like, yeah. this and that. These people, they're scary. Mm. They could do something. Um, So it's really, like, secret and exclusive, right? So... You know, we don't know what's going on in there. They could be talking about bombing the entire world. Who knows, right? And apparently they have, like, rituals there where it's like, okay, there are accusations of, like, cultism and satanic rituals. Hmm. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. Those people are weird, right? Yeah. And there's, like, apparently this giant owl statue that's used in a ritual um, that's been linked to ancient symbols of hidden knowledge or something. There's, like, some darker tradition back there. Uh, There's a strict no media policy. Uh, no one's allowed to like take photos or like record anything from there. Yeah. There's no official record of what happens in there. Um, but yeah, so it's like I don't know. Like 
the 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 picture that was leaked was like someone had like snuck in from the side like you can see it's like really they're like hiding away mm. and they they've like zoomed in and taken a picture of the and they're like all in they're all like wearing the same thing and they've got like and there's like a meeting hall and they're like standing up it's so scary that's like, terrifying yeah. right what are they doing with the again why is it in a forest how cre- and with this giant owl no, but like statue? think about it. like you couldn't have like a secret meeting like this and say like a Macca's or something like you like if you're going to do it you got to do it in a yeah but you've got like or... like highly military like do it in area 51 like do it in like you know some highly protected not in the middle of the redwood forest that's but creepy. it's just mystery like that's the, I don't know. that's half the fun someone could go over with a plane and bomb them so probably for the best <laughs> Like, like you've got the world's most powerful people there. It's like the perfect time. I know when it is. Two weeks in July. Do you ever let think, me go there? Like, and like, maybe they're not doing anything horrible, and they're like going and like just playing like, like these guys, like, <laughs> like video games. Yeah, like maybe they're just going no, and like you know, I, like playing some solitaire. You can't tell and... me that's not something sus. Like, there's no way that's normal. Like you, why are you doing it with this giant campfire around this giant statue in the middle of a forest? With for the vibes, no. maybe they love nature. Oh my god, no! They're nature I'm enthusiasts. Like, I strongly believe that something's going on in there. There's I'll always personally go and find, find out what it is. <laughs> Wait, but where's anyway. the forest? The redwood forest in um California. So it's all in America as well. Yeah, well, that's like where so all like, the world's most them, powerful. Leave people. them to their like, no, what like, cons- like world leaders can't like you know. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, that those are my conspiracy theories for Interesting. you. Interesting. That like now I'm not just not gonna sleep tonight. I think I'll just kind of no, I will stay up and watch documentaries. Plane crash this. documentaries. I will I will watch all these conspiracies and I'll try and find out what happens. It's like haunting, it just makes you like I know. But it's ooh. like I wanna find out. Would you wanna hear my last final one yeah. before we finish? Yeah. And this is a bit of a like, it's a conspiracy theory, but there's also scientific grounding. So okay. it's actually, like, more interesting. Uh, Excuse me. I think mine are also interesting. They are interesting. But this is, like, it's actually, well, I mean, yours are probably possible as well. But yeah, mine's, yeah. like, genuinely, there's, like, notes on it and stuff. Mm. Um, It's so funny. I'm just thinking I went from brain rot TikTok conspiracy. I'm about to delve <laughs> yeah. into quantum physics. But uh, that's me, you guys. So it's the theory of multiple universes. Mm, that multiple the universes. The multiverse. Yes, the multiverse. That it exists. Um. And so the, like, non-scientific thinking behind this, and there's, like, so much science in it, I could not, like, go through it now, so I'll just give a really, really brief version, but I could do a whole episode if you wanted to. No. But, (laughs) yeah, no one one wants that. that, I'll make my own podcast. Okay. (laughs) Um, No, so what people, like, who aren't really scientific think that the reasoning behind why there's multiple universes Mm. is deja vu. They think that Mm. we experience it in a multiple, like, another universe. You know what, I get so much deja vu. I get deja vu of the deja vu happening. Do you deja ever, do you is so weird. That? Yeah. Like, it's so creepy. I'm like, oh, And it's like, that? what's weird? We don't know, like, why it happens. Like, yeah. there's so many, like. It's like this, like, this genuinely did happen. Like, there's no way that, like, the exact same thing. Yeah, I think, so I think it's some sort of link between your consciousness and your processing. So, I heard this story. It's about, um, like, so they got this people who had some sort of, like, brain um, damage or something. Oh. And <laughs> they... they <laughs> So they're blind, so they can't see, but like they can still communicate to their subconscious. And so they showed them like a picture of something that's happy and they felt happy, but they couldn't explain why. Mm. But it's because like they perceived the image probably and it went to their subconscious Mm. or they showed them a sad image and stuff like Mm. that. So there's like, that's why they're thinking like deja vu. But like these people are saying, oh no, just it happened in another universe. And so that's why I'm feeling like connection to the universe, which doesn't Mm. really make sense because it's kind of hard to go between universes. And the other non-scientific way is the Mandela effect. Mm. So, you know, when you like, it's like say curious george never had a tail yeah curious george never had a tail but which i wouldn't know because i didn't watch curious george (laughs) you never watched curious george (laughs) he like i feel like that would have been your show keep going yeah sorry um wait what'd you say that would have been my show like i just feel like you and george would have had so much in common like you're both just like curious and cheeky oh what was that going on oh mandela effect people are saying oh yeah like that happened to me in another universe and like i'm just like or in my old universe, it was like that. And then this one, it's not. Which is like, it's kind of like, it kind of links to the science and the quantum explanation of it. But that'll be, I'll, I'll talk about that last. But the uh, kind of like the scientific um, thinkings behind the why we have other universes. A is um, string theory, which is mm. 
basically just like a bunch of different like dimensions that exist but beyond like you know our three dimensions like this one's like space and time and whatever mm. and so they're saying within those dimensions there might be different spaces that exist where universes can form mm. um or there's the cosmolo- cosmological inflation one which is basically like as universe expands you know inflates like there's different parts that stop inflating and create bubble universes mm. when you in, uni- new universes are created um but the most interesting theory for it is the quantum theory which is basically to do it's basically saying that like at one instant every possibility happens but the one that we experience is just like one that was like that was picked so for example we're on this podcast talking by who well that's a question but like say like there's a universe where we're on this podcast talking there's a universe where we never started a podcast and like all of those things have (laughs) existed Yeah. All of those things have existed. I would, I would love that, you know. I'm joking. I love this podcast, guys. Um, Thank you, Do 56. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I saying? There's a universe where... Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, like, basically they're saying, like, every possibility happens ever. And so there's, like, the thought of, like, quantum immortality where, like, your consciousness stays in the universe where you are alive. So, like, say I'm driving a car, there's an alternate universe where, you know, the car... I crashed and so I died, but my consciousness stayed in the universe that it was alive in. Mm. And so it's kind of like you never die, but like it doesn't really make sense because mm. people do die, but like maybe yeah. your consciousness moves on. Whole other debate. Um, that's like a whole other thing, like your conscious versus your physical. Like that's like, yeah. Um, um, but yeah, it's kind of like with the quantum theory, it's to do with the superposition of atoms and like the wave function and all that kind of stuff Mm. um it's a bit scientific i don't know how much to go into it but if you're familiar with schrodinger's cat i don't know if we've spoken about it on the podcast have we i I feel like we've brought it up but um schrodinger's cat is just like a thought experiment proposed by schrodinger which is saying so you put a cat in a box with a radioactive thing like a particle that Mm. decays and if it, it decays it will trigger a sensor that kills the cat, basically, mm. in a nutshell. Um, but without n- opening the box, we have no way of knowing. Like the um, without observing the particle, we don't know if the particle exists in the decayed or non-decayed form. Mm. So the cat is both alive and dead. And so it's that kind of thought of like, without seeing the particles, because in like quantum, like when you observe something, its properties kind of change. Mm-hmm. So without observing it, like the, it exists in these two kind of like or duality. Even, yeah, the duality. So that's like in a nutshell why we, they believe that the multiple universe could be real is because you know these particles like exist in like mm. two different spots and or it's doctor stuff. strange i've never seen it well anyway so that's my little two cents my mm. little get the all out. these things in the world yeah which is why like i said i want to find out <laughs> i will quit my university job <laughs> and become a full-time debunker you, you get a phd in theories in, in conspiracy theories i would actually if it was like you know genuine <laughs> like if it wasn't just like a throwaway thing yeah but yeah well That's good fun. luck sleeping tonight everyone i thoroughly enjoyed this episode that was quite interesting i'd yeah. love to do some more deep dives into the theories and you know what we'll go to all these places and we'll let you know we will visit this place in the we forest. will infiltrate we will the to- bohemian grove yeah we will visit area 51 we will go to denver international airport <laughs> and we'll report back yeah we and will. if we don't you know what happened yeah well maybe we already, maybe we or- already know too much Maybe you know too much watching the Oh my podcast. god, man. Yeah, why did we We've just actually episode? endangered oh everyone. We're gonna die. We gotta delete the files, Keisha. Oh my Come god, on. We're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> this is DJ Cumin and MC Keisha signing out. Good night.